I do have a super chat. Ole! I hope I'm saying that right. Thank you for the super chat. Yes, any downsides with mixing different subs? I have three P three PB two thousands, so SVS PB two thousands, and one monolith THX ten. Okay, so let me see here. Are there any downsides? Downsides, yes. Right? Downsides is it's more complicated. If you just had all PB two thousands. The great thing about that is you know that they kind of have the same limits, right? If you set them all to the same exact gain, send them all the same exact EQ, you know that if you start turning it up, they're going to start re reaching their distortion limits at the same time. The port tuning, as long as you have the same, you know, ports plugged, they will have the same n native frequency response, right? And the issues that you'll have will be the same for all of them, all right? So if one starts chuffing when you apply a certain amount of EQ below the tuning frequency, you can kind of understand that this is going to be the same for the rest of them. Now, when you start mixing stuff, you're luckily all of these are ported. So THX10 is ported. Now you start running into other issues, which is the tuning frequency of the THX10 might be different than the PB 2000s. And the reason why that may be an issue is because typically what happens at the tuning frequency or the port is there's a phase inversion, right? That's no, that's no problem if they're all the same subs, right? They're going to, that phase shift is going to happen at the same frequency for all of them. But when you start mixing subs, now you have to consider like, all these subs are aligned. Let's say you have them perfectly phase aligned, right? But then the THX10, let's say it has a, let's say the port tuning is higher. There might be a point where now it's starting to fight with the other subwoofers at that particular frequency, right? So what do you do? Right? Now you can, you can resolve that if you use something like multi sub optimizer, because then you can say, all right, THX10 at this particular frequency, don't contribute anymore, right? Just Kind of like sharp cut off and say where your port usually starts helping out. We don't want that. Don't do anything like stop playing sound as much as possible and let the PB 2000s take over from there. And that way you are getting the benefit of the THX 10 above the tuning frequency and you're getting the base extension from the PB 2000s. But now you're getting into a territory where you're using something like multi sub optimizer. I'm not sure that Dirac live bass control would be able to, I think it should be able to do that, but I don't know how effective it will be because it has to do, you know, phase rotations. You'd have to do a phase rotation to make it all sum properly in all of them. So it's tricky. So the downside is that you need more knowledge to make that work. You know, uh, that's, that's basically it. So more sub more subs that are the same, it just makes your life easier. That's basically it. But if you're already familiar with multi-sub optimizer, yeah, have fun. You know, in my system, I have like four different subs. Previously, I had one that was sealed, which you're not supposed to do, but I was able to get away with it because I'm using multi-sub optimizer. But for most people, I really don't recommend it. You know, if you can get all the same sub, it's better. It's easier. Um so hopefully that answers your question. Thank you for the super chat. Now, if you can't catch the show, we do have an audio version at anchor.fm slash daily hi-fi. So make sure to go on over there if you like to listen to the show.